This is Mobile Tycoon and we are trying to scam people into buying bad phones. So what better way to do it than with a scam company. Let's get that company started. Just stick with the standard logo and of course we go with standard difficulty. So the way this game is supposed to work is that you just like start a series so scam phone and this is then the model one we can create it and you can select different processors and in general just different things and in the beginning you have basically nothing you can't really choose anything you can see that everything is under market but we don't have any upgrades these are things you can buy so we're just getting the worst phone possible you can change some things in design but we keep them as they are for now and at the end you can set the price and what if we just keep the standard phone and do an outrageous price This is what we're going to find out. And now we just have to wait for the company to develop the product. So the product has now been developed and this is the important part because now we get to launch it to the market. So we launch it. Of course, no presentation because we don't have money and let's see how many of these phones people actually buy by just producing a small amount of it because we don't want to bankrupt if people don't buy this we launch it and these are the initial reviews that are coming in and overall people don't like it but that doesn't mean that people won't buy it Let's see what happens here. And people are rushing to get this phone. On the right, you can see the stock of the phone go down. So we are actually selling some stuff and we already made a profit with it. So it appears to work really well. Since this is working so well, we can just expand the office and use it to hire more workers. Just get in who, whoever wants a job. Ah, this guy maybe not. And we have hired four people who can build even better scam phones. The first one is already sold through and just develop the second model variant of it. One thing we can do to save money is to do deals on certain components that we get them cheaper. So this company doesn't want to do it, but we can try Qualcomm, maybe one euro cheaper. So we go with the Snapdragon here. And we can choose operating system and let's just choose the cheaper one. Try it and we also have it accepted. So this phone for us will be even cheaper than the one before. Just skip to the end, set the price and create it. The first phone is already selling out and our people are working away building the next phone, which is great. At the same time, we are generating these research points, which we could spend on things, but that would make our phone better. And why would we want to do that? That would cost more money. So we can launch the next phone, not spend money on presentations, and this time build a few more phones because we sold all of the ones before. This one is getting even worse reviews, but oh well. Get that out of here and 
phones are selling. It's currently in the loss, but it's still selling. And the other phone made 4.3 million in profit. And this one seems to be selling as well. And one thing we can do is expend some money in marketing in different markets, probably markets that have a lot of money. And maybe with that we will sell even more of these phones and get them into profitability. So it appears as such this phone is not really selling well. Maybe we can do a discount action on it. And we're even losing money with it. So possibly it's time to invest into some technology so we can make the screen bigger. This is always something that people like. So let's get all that researched and hopefully our next phone that we create will sell more. And let's just start creating it. This is then the scam phone 3. It will still be expensive, but it will have one advantage which will be that it has a larger screen which probably people will like get that in there that's all we can do and sell it maybe for a bit less just 270 percent profit and let's create researching it Taking a look at the previous phone, it's now into profit as well. So it's not looking too bad. And we even get some fans who like our company. Let's get this phone developed. So this phone has developed and still the old scam phone is selling. But we have a new scam phone, so let's take it. And again, let's create, let's say 20% of our funds into creating this phone, 14,000 copies. And let's get it out there. People like it more than the previous one, but they still don't like it. But hopefully we can still make profit with it. And it's selling quite well. And we don't have money for any trade fair. We don't do that stuff. And we're already 1 million in the profit with it. So even the scam phone 3 did really, really well. So apparently doing upgrades, but still keeping your phone expensive is a good choice. So we continue with that. We could add a charger and we could increase the power of it. Research that. We could get more memory size and a better memory clock speed, even do that twice, get that researched for the next phone and also start the development of the scam phone 4. The scam phone 4 will have this new processor. Hopefully we can negotiate a better price. We didn't get a better price, so we stay with, well, Let's choose the better one. It will make our phone more expensive as well. We can at least get a better deal on the software. This here stays all the same as we have it. So actually it's getting to be a decent phone now. Just a really expensive phone. Oh, and we forgot here we can add a charger uh, with charging power and we're back to the pricing leave it the same up mark really expensive and get it out on the market the scam phone 3 almost sold out completely so that's a good sign and the scam phone 2 is still selling not too many things but it does so every of these phones is making profits even though we're not putting any effort into designing them now the scam now some employees leaked our development data, but I mean, what are we going to do about it? Probably nothing, because we can launch the Scamphone 4, which is even more expensive than the previous ones. 
and let's create 30% of our budget into scam phones for people still don't like it but the last ones got sold out fully so this one will probably be sold out as well and it's selling really well it's after even a few days it's basically sold out so the strategy we're doing of just selling really expensive phones appears to be working quite well so let's expand the office which we can because we don't have research points for it okay then let's expand the office after we build the scam phone 5 which we are going to build not the 6 but the 5 the same strategy just change nothing i think we bought one upgrade in memory speed which we could add yes memory type but processor doesn't support it okay then we don't do it just create the same phone again but we will create more of it now we can upgrade the office and hire even more workers get them in hire everyone okay now we have a stacked office if we take a look the scam phone 4 made 8 million the scam phone 3 made 4 million this made 3 million this made 4 million so our profits are increasing people tend to like these even though they are expensive so it's going well So we're launching the scam phone 5 and next up we will try doing a presentation for one of our phones this one got really bad reviews hopefully we did not overspend all of our money but the scam phone 6 will have a marketing presentation but no additional upgrades so none of the new technology but we will spend money on marketing for it. Maybe that will work to get people interested in the phone. I mean, we could already start developing the Scamphone 6 because there will be nothing new in there. Just skip all the way to the end. Keep the price the same and create it wait for it to be created and then we're going to do a big marketing campaign for it now we got the scam phone 6 ready which we're going to release to a small presentation and hopefully this will oh we don't even have money left to produce any of them so we just wasted a lot of money. That's how they get you. And with that, I think our company is probably pretty much bankrupt. Well, with getting out of it, we can make minus 10 million, but let's see if these phones will get us out of the red it appears as such these phones did get us out of the red or we are really at the brink of bankruptcy but this is something we will fix in the next episode